Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Vacation News. I'm Cindy Cha and this news is brought to you by Hawaii-Aloha.com. In Hawaii, Hawaii's experts. The Bishop Museum in Honolulu is cutting a day out of the week and closing a related facility to cut more than a million dollars a year from its operating budget. The museum will lay off and furlough staff and temporarily shut down the Hawaii Maritime Center at Aloha Tower. The museum will now close on Tuesdays. That's the first time the museum will reduce its hours to the public since it was founded in 1889 to house the extensive collection of artifacts of Princess Bernice Hawahi Bishop, the last descendant of the Kamehameha family. The closure of the Maritime Center and reduction in the museum's public hours are estimated to save about 10% of the museum's operating budget. But don't take it off your list of things to do in Hawaii. It's still a wonderland of information and exhibits. The high-tech business continues to thrive in Hawaii. High-tech companies regenerated human tissue for cell therapy, produced electricity for the grid, developed vaccines for infectious diseases, and impacted society and human life in a whole lot of ways. The state offers tax credits to local investors who are willing to take an early risk on the state high-tech future. High-tech now produces as much income for the state as the accommodations sector of the tourism business. Between 2002 and 2007, high-tech companies generated a million and a half dollars into the state economy. One industry leader says, with all the growth and accomplishments surging, Hawaii can become the Saudi Arabia of solar energy. The USS Arizona Memorial is getting new biodiesel ferries. Naval Station Pearl Harbor and the National Park Service began launching them earlier this month. Visitors are transported from the visitor center to the memorial. The vessels use biodiesel, which is a renewable fuel derived from natural sources like soybean oil. The vessels were paid for by a Federal Transit Administration grant and State of Hawaii matching funds. The ships also use a process called diesel oxidation, which reduces harmful emissions, all in the interest of making your visit to the memorial as comfortable as possible. Hawaii monk seals might be making a comeback. Congress has allocated $5.7 million for Hawaiian monk seal recovery efforts. Conservation managers say that will make a great difference for the critically endangered animals whose numbers have dropped below 1,200. If it continues at this level, plans are to develop short-term facilities where at-risk young seals can get some protection before being released into the wild. Hawaii monk seals exist only in Hawaii, and their numbers have been declining for 30 years. Experts say the animals won't make it unless we step up to help. And that does it for Hawaii Vacation News for this week. Tune in again next week for more news. For back episodes and links, go to our website at hawaii-aloha.com. Until next time, I'm Cindy Cha saying aloha and mahalo. Well, I don't know if it's, if it's good or bad audio.